Hi guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're talking about portfolio analysis. Sometimes it's called BCG Matrix or Boston Consulting Group Matrix. Basically what you do is you look at your portfolio products. So if you're Sony, you're looking at your, your, your computers, your laptops, your TVs, your Playstations, all these things, and you start to analyze them. But you put them into different groups, and you base these groups on two different criteria. One is market growth, and two, you base it on market share. Okay, so we have the quadrants here. So market growth, high market growth, low market growth, and market share, high market share to low market share. Now, the thing is, you do this to analyze which products we should put more money into, invest more because things are going well, which ones are our cash cows that we use to, to fund other investments, and when we're in bad economic times, maybe this is how we decide which products need to be taken out to pasture. Okay, And so that's what we have here. Now, if we look at it, we have four different quadrants, and we're going to start up here with the question marks. Now, question mark products, these are products or services that are in high growth industry, but we are a very small player in it. So we don't know, is it going to take off we can become somebody big because there's so much room to grow, or could it turn out that we're not going to make anything for it? Now, sometimes there's lots of success stories. For Nokia, you know, one time they were into wood products, and they had this little small industry, little small part of the, tele the mobile phone industry. And they said, well, is this going to work or not? And they bet on that question mark of mobile phones, and it helped them take off. Now, it doesn't always work that way. You'll see companies that say, hey, this is a really growth industry, the loan market. And Circuit City thought the loan market was a really great industry. It was growing. So they were a small player, and it ended up taking them out of business. They actually failed, okay, because one of the things with their loans. And so we look at these things and say, hmm, a question mark. Do we go with it to make it a star, or could it come down and become a dog for us? Now, the second one I want to talk about is the star. Now, a star is a high growth industry, and you're the big time player. So in tablet computers, we're looking at the iPad. That is a star for Apple. Tons of people are buying it. The market is growing and growing and growing for tablets, and Apple is number one with the iPad. So that would be a star for them. Okay, These ones, you're going to invest more money into it because it's still growing, so we've got to have more production for it, we've got to get it out there, because products that are stars don't always stay as stars. Eventually, sometimes they come out, and hopefully, hopefully they turn into cash cows. Okay, Because a cash cow, this is a product that's in a low growth industry, but you're just a big time market player in it. If you're thinking of Coca-Cola Classic, the red can of Coke, not a big market growth thing there, but they make tons of cash on it so they can use the money from their cash cow to invest in their stars to help them make even more money. Also, to invest in their question marks so maybe that extra money can help that question mark become a bigger player. Okay? And then finally, you have the dogs. Now the dogs, these are, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm a marketing professor, not an artist, okay? But as you see with the dogs, they have low market growth and low market share. So basically, you're in a, in a dead industry or not much growth industry, you're a small time player. Is this something we really want to be in or not? And usually these are the type of products and services that get cut when they're looking to save money. And if you're, and if you, here's a little career advice. If you see you're working on a product or in a service department that's dealing with the dog products, time to go look for another job. Okay, so just be safe. And this is a rough idea of what a portfolio analysis is. You take your products, all the different ones out there, and you start placing them on, in this grid based on market growth and market share. And you see where things are, so you know where do I need to invest more, which ones should I nurture just to get the cash, and which ones I should get rid of. So I hope that helped you learn a little bit about portfolio analysis. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. We'll hope you, so I hope that you'll like and favorite this video, and we hope you subscribe. If you want to learn more about marketing and business strategy, please check us out at our website at www.waltersworld.com. Bye.